Today, we want to take a look at markup versus margin. While they are very similar in nature, they have a big difference that could be costing you tons of profit. And by learning the difference, you could increase your bottom line and get you one step closer to your profit goals. If I was to ask you to give me a basic definition of these words, you would probably say something like, the markup margin is the amount of money you make on a product or service. While this is true, there's a little bit more to it, and that's what we're gonna take a look at. Now let's say you sell a product for $120, and it costs you $100 to produce it. So if you take your sales price minus the $100 in costs, you're going to get a $20 markup. And some people might say, well, I've got a $20 margin. But is it really? We're gonna find out, because I think you're going to be surprised. Now keep in mind that margin is usually expressed in terms of percentages and not in dollar form. While a lot of people will talk about the dollars they make, and yes, that would be the markup, the way you actually wanna use it for calculating out your profitability, however, you really wanna use the percentages and we're gonna explain that here. Because here is where all the confusion comes in and this is where business owners are losing profits that I mentioned earlier. Now your markup percentage is very different than your margin percentage. Even though you have the same costs associated with it. So you can see you're selling it for the same price and you make the same $20. But if you were to figure out the percentages of each of these, you're going to come out with something completely different. Now, in order for this lesson to hit home, I need to ask you a question. When you set your prices, are you looking for a certain dollar amount that you want to make or a certain percentage? For those of you looking to make a certain dollar amount, you are probably using the markup method. And those of you looking to make a certain percentage are probably using the margin method. For example, if you bid a job and you know the costs are going to be around $200 and you want to double your money, so you know that you need to take your $200 in costs plus your $200 in profit you want to make, so you turn around and you bid the job $400. So you get the job and you feel excited because you just doubled your money after all. Now, if I was to ask you what the margin was on the job, you might say 100%. After all, you did just double your money, right? Well, slow down turbo. You might be surprised. Now, let's take a look at bidding the same job, but using the margin method. Let's say you always shoot for around a 60% margin on your jobs. You know that is what you need in order to have a 40% net profit margin, which is after your 20% of expenses are backed out. Basically, after your product costs, you have 60% left. You take off your 20% margin, that gives you your 40% profit margin at the very end. I know it's a little confusing on here, don't worry about that. That's gonna be covered somewhere else. Right now, we just know that you need to be able to make 60% off of this bid, so that way you have enough to hit your expenses and to make the money you need at the end of the day. That's the important part here. Now, if you were to use the margin pricing method, would it shock you to know that your bid would not be $400, but rather $500? That's right, your bid would have been off by 25%. That's right, you would not have made 100% like you thought you did. You really would have only made 50% margin on that original bid of $400, much lower than our 60% margin that we just did. And if your expenses still run the 20% that we assumed earlier, your final profit using the markup method versus this margin method would have only been 30% versus the 40% that you had as your goal. And as you can see, this is costing you $100 worth of potential profit, all because of using the markup way of creating the bid versus using the margin way of figuring out this bid. Is it any reason that you can't seem to make enough profit? In this example, you are missing your target by 25% before you even pay a single bill. 
And now that I have your attention on the amount of money you might be missing out, let's step back and figure out how should we be doing this using the margin method instead. Now, I do want to put a disclaimer here. You need to make sure that you are pricing correctly, period. It's not that I'm saying that you need to use the margin method every single time. You need to be able to price competitively and correctly for the job. Some things will be much higher than that margin percent, and sometimes it'll be lower than that. But in general, you need to understand how to do this so that you can see where your profit is landing because that's the important part. You should know the margin on every single bid that you do. This is a very important thing for you to understand. Your margins are one of the most critical pieces to you growing your business and your profits. And this is why people are missing out on potential profit all the time, because they never stop to figure out what the margin is that they're making on that particular product or service that they sell. And the first thing that you need to understand is that the calculations for computing the two are very different, uh, even though you're using the exact same information. So for our examples, we are going to use item X and item X sells for $10 and has $6 in product costs. And therefore you're making $4 in profit every time you sell one. So let's take a look at both. Your market percentage is going to be determined on how much your profit is versus your cost for the product or services. So to figure out our market percentage, we're gonna take our $4 in profit and we're gonna divide it by $6 in costs. And when you do that, you find out that you actually marked up this product by 66%. Now, a side note here, and you'll see it on both slides. For those of you that aren't math nerds, uh, just remember that when you actually divide this out, it's going to come out to 0.66. In order to convert it to a percentage, you're actually going to multiply it by 100 or just move that decimal place over to get your percentage. Now, if we were going to do the exact same thing, trying to figure out the margin percentage on this same item, once again, we have 6% cost, 4% profit. We sell it for $10. What's going to happen is our margin is the profit we make divided by the sales we get for that product. So doing this one, we have $4 in profit. We're going to divide it by the $10 in sales, and we're going to get 40% margin. So you noticed on our markup, we were 66%, but on our margin, we're actually only making 40% instead. And we've already discussed the margin percentage is what really matters. So when we compare these two side by side for our imaginary product, you're going to see once again, our $10 sale price minus our $6 in cost. We got $4 in profit, if you recall, and this is what it looks like. Our markup was 66%, once again, profit divided by cost, and our margin came out to 40%, which is profit divided by sales. And as you can see, that difference, once again, is pretty big between the two of them. Now, in case you're wondering, here happens to be a simple chart that just takes a $100 item, and you're going to see the different costs that you could have. And it's going to show you the profit that you make, which is simple. You add your costs and your profit together to get the $100. And as you go down the chart, you're going to notice that the markup and the margin are very different from each other. And the bigger that uh, that cost and profit change, the bigger that gap between the two of them becomes. Uh, but the most important line on here, once again, is going to be the margin percentage. This is what I want you to focus on because your profit and loss statement, your p is done off of a percentage of sales. Therefore, your margin, which is huge on your profit and loss, is the column we need to look at because that's actually the one that you track. So let's do a quick recap here. Markup is profit as a percentage of your costs and margin is profit as a percentage of your sales. Once again, everything on your profit and loss statement is calculated as a percentage of sales. So the profit margin calculation is one of the most important numbers you need to know and you need to do it for every product and service that you sell. I cannot stress this enough. You should have those written down somewhere, have a log somewhere that you keep this. It is the key to knowing your future profits. This is why so many people are missing out 
on potential profit because all they get hung up on is, hey, I made $200. I doubled my money. No, that's not correct. You know what? At the end of the day, you still have stuff that has to come off of that. So it's important you know what it is as a percentage of sales. We will continue to dive into this whole margin and your profit and loss and creating more profits in future videos. So if you like today's lesson, be sure to hit subscribe and check out not only our past videos, but the future ones that will be coming soon that are geared to help you earn more profits and grow your business into a six figure. And don't forget to check out the Local Small Business Coach audio podcast to learn more. Take it while you're working and while you drive and we go over these kinds of nuggets all the time. This is Tammy, your local small business coach, and I'll see you on the next video.